I didn't share my teaching notes with P. Daniel, but you see that before I came up, what happened was the repairing of the altar. The repairing of the altar. Repentance. Repair the altar. Action. And then I, I, I heard Peter Daniel teaching. I said, who showed this man my note? Number six, Mount Carmel is a place of revelation. And you heard him talking about the stone of revelation. Now look at this in 1 Kings 18 verse 31 to 36. Elijah took 12 stones. <laughs> what did he do with the stones? Why did he pick the stones? Why 12? The answer is revelation. 12 representing the 12 tribes of Israel. Everything Elijah did at Mount Carmel were actions of revelation. It's not enough to have action. It's important to act based on revealed truths. And so, we see that after all that took place, the fire came down. Revelation. Number seven, don't get so used to it. Right now, before this session is over, and the night session and tomorrow, one of the things you'll be seeing so much, that's right, is manifestations. Number seven. Things happen on Mount Carmel. Ah, I thank God I came today. From the first teaching to the second to the third. Mount Carmel is a place of manifestation. If nothing happens to you, you only went around Mount Carmel, you didn't ascend. But I'm talking to somebody here who is already ascending and many are already on the mount. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The same things we saw and are still seeing hands God will use to do much more come on man come is a aggressive amen that's not aggressive enough let me hear you shout a more aggressive amen Mount Camel, the fire and the rain. Regarding God's, just focus, God is doing his work. Regarding God's agenda for true revival, which is an outpouring in our generation, there's always a call to Mount Camel, and it shall come to pass. That I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. <laughs> Your young men shall prophesy. See visions. Your old men shall dream dreams. <laughs> Joel chapter 2 verse 28 down to 30. On Mount Carmel there will always be an outpouring. But that's for the next part of the teaching. But hear this. When God has an agenda for a generation, he selects people, but he also gives certain mountains to certain people. YMR is one of such Mount Camel that's been given to P. Daniel. It's the mountain of the Lord. <laughs> It's the mountain of the Lord. Hmm. Ale prate no shalahadea. Etuki prane kulosi pradaya. Let us journey. Three things happen. The altar. 
the order and the sacrifice if you go through what we read very carefully he had to repair the altar and then he had to put the wood in order and then and then he had to place the sacrifice before the fire came down three things the altar the order and the sacrifice before this session is over, we will call down the fire of God. But the altar. And then you and I must offer ourselves as sacrifices. Men and women who will say, I make a decision to leave this Mount Camel by attempting to do great things for God. What if the fire doesn't fall? My question is false. What if no man gathers? What if all of Israel gathers? The altar, the order, and the sacrifice. Hmm. Because our God is a God of patterns. Exodus 25 verse 40. Do everything according to the pattern that is shown to you on the mountain. Building down the broken altar talks about repentance. And so if you answer that call for repentance, we're already in the right place. The Lord began to speak to me about telling a generation to get accustomed and get used to the beauty of repentance. We have so made repenting an ugly incidence. Yet it is beauty. So beautiful that it throws heaven in party mood. There is joy in heaven over one soul that repents. The altar. My altar is calling you. My altar is calling. So leave me at the altar with my father. 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 Repentance. Until there is repentance, we are not ready for the fire. Repentance. It is the move of man that provokes the move of God. Man takes the first step by repenting. God takes the next step by releasing the fire. If there is anything you must repent of, don't let this session pass you by. In case you didn't come out before. Right where you are, you can, you can lay it all. There is nothing normal about sin. Stop normalizing abnormalities. Until the altar is repaired, that is the pattern. Repairing the altar. Repairing the altar is simply preparation for the fire. That's right. Number two, put the wood in order. 
And this talks about getting to a lifestyle. We heard that from Peter Daniel, not prayer time, oh, a lifestyle of prayer. Let me tell you something that will shock you. Anyone who prays short in public and mighty things happen has prayed long in secret. When Daddy Gio stands and says, let somebody shout hallelujah and all kinds of miracles are happening. If you do the same, nothing may happen. God hears his secret and manifests in the open. For our Father which heareth in secret, we reward you how? Openly. Every open manifestation is a product of secret travail. Hmm. Put the wood in order by paying the price of prayer. Put the wood in order by demand for revelation. By revelation, I'm not just talking about interpretation of scriptures. I'm talking about things God speaks to you. The word of God plus the voice of God is what we call revelation. No wonder the early church that saw fire, called down fire, experienced fire, moved in fiery dimensions the bible would say about them they gave themselves continually to prayer and to the ministry of the word and number three because we are going to call for the fire of god all kinds of manifestations they're already taking place in the congregation but it's about to be turbulent now number three is to lay the sacrifice on the altar. What is the point repairing the altar? Putting the wood in order and there is no sacrifice. Lord, prepare me a sanctuary. That's all right. Pure and holy. This is a retreat. Tried and true with thanksgiving, I'll be a living sanctuary. Give it to me one more time, Lord. Prepare me. Come on, Lord. Prepare me. I'll sanctuary. Song of one that is laying themselves pure on the altar. Lord, pure and holy, tried, tried and true, true. with thanksgiving. I'll be a living sanctuary for you. The altar, the order, and the sacrifice. For except the corn of wheat falls to the ground and dies, it abided alone. But if it dies, <laughs> it bringeth forth much fruit. Now, if you look at it, slaughtered the fire will only consume dead men the altar the order and the sacrifice God is such a God of order that he ensured that this message was the fourth one because the order there is that the water is poured three times First time, second time, third time. Now we can call for the fire. Once the altar is repaired, 
the order is followed and the sacrifice is made hmm. then the fire can fall <laughs> to Weimar to die to self. This fire is for dead men. For dead women. Fire, fire, fire. Fire, fall on me. Fire, 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 fall on me. Right here in Wayama, just fire like the day of Pentecost. Fire, fall on me. Aradevesh. Just like the day, day of Pentecost. Fire, fire, fall on me. Mona. Stand there for those number of days. The Bible says, and when the day of Pentecost was fully come, dead men were in one room. They were in one accord, had died to self because they tarried. <laughs> and the Bible says, there came upon them cloven tongues as of fire. Fire, fire as shot up in the bones of a man. Mount Camel is Weimar. <laughs> and on the second day, will he revive us? And on the third day, he will raise us up. This is day three. It takes a dead man to rise. If you haven't died, you can't rise. Resurrection is for the dead, not for the living. I speak to somebody under this great tent of his glory that has ascended Mount Camel in the authority of the name of Jesus. Let that fire fall now. Fire, let it fall now. Let it fall now. Let the fire of the Lord fall now upon you. One of the very great manifestations, that's right, of fire is your speech will become altered. Alteration of speech. Your tongue becomes fiery. You begin to say things beyond your ears. When this fire drops on a man or woman, your tongue is altered. The Lord said to tell you that because I didn't have it written down. Your tongue, how do you know you have the fire has fallen upon you? Your tongue is altered. Your tongue is altered. Your tongue is altered. When you hear yourself, you know it is not you. That's right. Alteration of speech. Your tongue is altered. You begin to say unsayable things. Alteration of tongue. Number two, when the fire comes and falls upon an individual, you begin to dare the undareable. You take steps that they say this man is mad. But until you are mad, you cannot be made. Yes, sir. There are mantles upon your life that you are too scared to use. You have had visions and revelations. You are too scared to journey. Aya. You begin to take steps that you know it is. Oh my God. When will you begin to attempt great things for God? In your generation and in my generation. When would we say we can we can fill up stadiums? When would we go to cities? Elijah said, call all of Israel. And all of Israel gathered. They haven't gathered because you haven't called. 
You haven't called because your tongue hasn't been altered. There is what they call authority. Every believer has it. But there is what they call audacity. Very few have it. Authority first. Audacity next. The authority of the believer. That's all right. What of the audacity of the believer? That will dare and take a step. Mount Carmel is a place where you are called out. Called out, called up, so that the fire can fall. That's right. He told me that now. Everyone hungry, run to the front right now. This is time for hunger. Time for hunger. Time for hunger. That's right. That's right. Hungry generation. Hungry man. The fire is about to drop massive. Thank you so much for staying to the end of the video. I believe you have been tremendously blessed. Please do not forget to like, share, drop a comment, and of course, please subscribe and also turn on your notification bell so you can get notified when I drop any other video. My name is Grace Ganyu. Thank you so much for watching.